Welcome to Progressive Automation's YouTube channel. Today we're going to show an instructional video of how to change the internal limit switch of our PA17 linear actuator. Um, I have a used one here just to show you the example. So the first thing you need to do is you'll notice five screws on the motor end of the actuator. You need to release those five screws and pull them out. Just make a note that one of them is smaller than the rest, goes on the far end here. Once you remove the five screws, you can remove the cable restraint. So you would unscrew this, I've already done it here as well. And you'd move it down. Once that's done, you can remove the bottom end of the actuator. And you'll notice right over here, this is where the limit switches are located. So basically how it works is there's a little arm on the lower and upper limit of the limit switch that turns as you extend or retract. And basically that arm ends up touching the limit switch which cuts the power. So if you want to change the location of the limit switch all you would do is unscrew here. You want to make sure depending on which one you want to change you want to hold down the other one so you don't mess up that position. You pull it out, adjust it and push it back in and then re-screw it back in. Now sometimes it gets a little bit of trial and error to get it exactly where you need it. What I recommend is extend the limit, uh, the actuator to the point that you want to stop it, then open the bottom, unscrew this, and then you can move the arm to touch the limit switch and you've already got it in the right position. If you have any additional questions, feel free to visit our website www.progressiveautomations.com or give us a call at 800-676-6123.